Okay, percents, uh, it actually has a numerical value. What I mean by that is, percent, you know that symbol? It goes, it equals to some number. It equals a number. Does anybody know what number it equals to? Raise your hand if you think you know. Hint, hint, percent. Per something, per, like miles per hour. Per cent, like century. Anybody have an idea what percent really means? Yes. One over 100 is exactly right. So if you know, because a lot of people don't know this, but percent, that symbol, it means hundreds or divided by 100. So it actually equals to one over 100. So if you think of it this way, it's actually a nice, and it's kind of easy to understand uh, these percent problems, okay? So keep this in mind. This is the major thing, the main thing that you need to understand. Percent, it actually equals to a number. It goes to one over 100. All right, so write it down. So knowing that percent means one over 100, now I have this simple equation, simple example. Express as fractions in simplest form, and there are four percents here, 36%, 180%, 3 fourths percent, 37.5%. By the way, why do you think I have this highlighted, the C part? No, okay. But so go ahead and try it. By the way, how many people think the three, I, I'll give you time. Go ahead, everybody try. See what you get. Hmm? Yeah, three fourths percent. See what you get. So I kind of highlight it for fun. You'll know why in a minute. Okay. Go ahead, everybody try. See what you get. Because we know, by the way, when you have a number and another number right next to it, like 2x, oh, that's not enough. Two, right? Well, 36%, right? These are two numbers right next to each other. What operation is, is usually between two numbers that are right next to each other when you don't see any operation? What operation do you think is between 36 and a percent? Yeah, multiplication is correct, very good. Okay, so 99% of the time, when you have a number and another number and you don't see any operation, it means multiplication. You guys know that, right? Okay, go ahead and try these. So 36%, uh, 36% means 36 times what class? What does percent mean? We just know. Percent means 1 over 100. So 36 times? 1 over 100. So well, what's that? 36 over 100, right? So how many people got? Oh, did you write 18 over 50? No. You should simplify it further. 9 over? 25. You can't see it. Sorry. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, then, okay, 180%. By the way, could we have something? Could we have percent that's more than 100%? Is that okay? Yeah. How, what does 180% mean? Like, I don't know, 180% of, uh, like I have, what does it mean when you have something 180%? Anybody? Like, you know, your battery on your cell phone. If you have 36%, you know you have less than 50% of it, right? What does it mean if you have, can you have battery up on your cell phone 180%? No. Yeah, you can. You, you, you buy one of those extended, you know, those big batteries. You know. What does 180% mean? Anybody? Yeah, more than 100. How much more? 80% more. So it's almost like twice as much what you have, right? So you could have more than 100%, right? Anyway, uh, so 180% means 180 over 100. So what's that, guys? Nine fifths is correct. By the way, for C, how many people wrote down 75%? Raise your hand. No one? Isn't three fourths 75%? Only one person? Actually, this. It's a little bit tricky. If I said three fourth, three fourth as without that percent sign, yeah, three fourth of a number is what? 75 percent, right? That's 0.75, so it's, that is 75 percent. But what does three fourths percent mean? That means it's like it's less than a less than one percent, isn't it? It's less than one percent. So if you think about it, it really means three over 400. <laughs> that's what it means. Right? Okay. So don't write 75 percent. That's why I that's why I highlighted it. People. When they see three fourths, they automatically buy seventy five percent. Okay, this one is not saying three fourths of something. It means three four percent, right? That's less than one percent, isn't it? So anyway, and then the last one, thirty seven and a half is. By the way, what should we do first before I change into uh, William? Put a addition sign between the seventy seven and a half. Yeah. In other words, we write this fraction as a. Small. What kind of fraction should we? Do? What kind of exp what kind of fraction do we like? We want this as a improper fraction, is that right? Okay, so that's what you mean by thirty-seven plus half, right? That's correct. So it's thirty seventy-five and a half, right? That's what thirty-seven and a half percent means. So 
if you write that, how many people got three eights? Uh, okay, three eights. Okay, good. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Then doesn't that become three eights? Yeah. Okay. So here's a question: Why do we write things in percent? Like, why don't we just? Because if these percent really means these fractions, why do we bother writing things in terms of percent? Why not just leave it as fractions? Raise your hand. It looks pretty. Why do we? Anybody have an idea why we do this? Quickly. No. Right? Because, I mean, aren't these percent really means these fractions? They all mean some fraction, right? Or decimal if you will. Why do we even bother writing things in this percent? Yeah, Sarah? Um, why don't you do something Which one? Um, yeah. Add to the Oh, 37 and a half. If you write that as, a, as an improper, 2 times 37 gives you 74. Okay. Plus 1. Yeah. And then, yeah. Okay, so going back to my question. Anybody? What what do you Yes. Um, to help compare yeah, to help compare things or fractions, you know. Okay, so you know, like you could write these as a fraction this way, but then percent means everything is divided into hundred pieces. It's kinda easy to kind of picture, right? If you if somebody says fifty percent, you know it's half of hundred. If if somebody says twenty five percent, you know it means uh right, half of half of hundred pieces, something, right? Whereas if I write 9 over 25, you're like, well, okay, what is that really? You know what I mean? But if, you, yeah, well, now, <laughs> if you write as a percent, it's kind of easy to see. You see what I mean? So it's, it's kind of easy to compare, like you said, and kind of easy to understand what they really mean. Like a lot of you want things in percent in terms of your homework, I mean, your test, right? You guys want, you always come up and say, oh, can you borrow your calculator, you know? Because you want to compare into a percent, right? Because it's easier to compare like other tests. You want to see how well you did compared to the other tests? Right, because not all tests are out of 100. Does that make sense? It's easy to see. Yes? Okay, so it, it's kind of convenient, right, to use things in percent. Okay, so let's then go on to the next one. Okay, okay so now that we converted things, like percent into a fraction, guess what we're going to do next? Convert fractions into percent is exactly right. So write each number as percent. I have two of them, 7 eighths and 6.9. Okay, so... Let's do this one together uh, because I want to show you. Some of you may know a uh, different way of doing this uh, than what I'm about to do, but I would like you to know how to do this one also. So basically, what am I asking? I'm asking 7 8 is what? What percent, right? Isn't that what I'm asking? So basically, here, I wrote this down. What percent is 7 8? Right? Isn't that what I'm asking myself? Right? Because it says write each number as percent. And so we're really asking what percent is 7 over 8? Okay. And so I'm going to show you how to translate this into an equation. By the way, this is a shortest word problem you will get. <laughs> right? This is nevertheless word problem, isn't that right? What percent is 7 8? So what does what mean in terms of normally, like in word problem, what does what usually represent? Unknown. Your unknown. So what letters do we like to use for our unknowns? Uh, X. So I'm going to write X. And we learn what percent means in terms of, right, numerical value. What does percent mean? Oh. 1 over 100. What does is mean usually in the word problem? Equals. Equals. What does 7 over 8 mean? Seven over eight. 7 over 8 is 7 over 8. So this just translates into this thing, just translates into nice equation. X times 1 over 100 equals to 7, seven 8. You see? Oh, no. So you're basically looking for the X. What do you think we're going to do to both sides, class? Oh, you can cross multiply after writing, oh, cross multiply. Oh, after writing x over 100, then you can do that. But let's just multiply both sides by LCD, which is? L LCD, you want to multiply both sides by LCD on this one? Uh, you could, but then I just want the x by itself, right? It's really multiply both sides by what? It's x is being multiplied by 1 over 100. So what are you guys going to do to get x multiplied both sides by 100? And things will cancel out. Go ahead. What do, what do we get? Everybody try. So you just get 7 over 8 times 100 over 1. Uh, I can see that 4 goes into 8, and then 4 goes into 100. And so, of course, this whole thing becomes what? What's the answer, anybody? What does this... Yeah, Sarah? How much? Did you guys, did you guys all agree? Anybody have a different answer? Okay, so, so I... 4 goes into 8 twice, right? 
Who goes to today 25 times, and then so I get 175 over 2, and then you, of course, you can write this as improper. You say 87.5, I wrote 87 and a half. Same thing, right? I like fractions, by the way. So this is a word problem, so what do we write as our answer? Let's use this as, let's write using a sentence. Anybody know? Viviana, what would I write as my answer? Yeah, or I just write 7, 8 is 87 and a half percent. Is that okay? Are we good there so far? Does that make sense? Okay, everybody try them for 6.9. So we're basically asking, what percent is 6.9? Is that right? Do you have, you have a question? Oh, you have the answer already? Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay, so I'll give you the rest of the class some time. If you're done, see if you could, uh, if you agree with the rest of your group. Okay, everybody try. Paul, what did you do? Give me the equation that you got. Yeah, so because we're basically asking what percent of what percent is six point nine, right? So doesn't that translate to doesn't that translate to into an equation? What equation do we get? Uh huh. Uh huh. Equals. Equals what? Yeah, what percent is you got is part and then what six point nine, right? Is that what we get? And this is 6.969 over 10? Yes. William, what should I do at this point to get x by itself? I know that a lot of you know how to do this in your head or something in a different way. But I want you to learn this way because you will see why in a minute. Because you're going to get these sort of questions. William, what do I do? Yeah, multiply both sides by 100, right? When I do, uh, things cancel out. 10 goes into 110 times, right? So the answer is what class? 690. So again, could we have percent that's more than 100%? Yeah, this means, how much more is this? Like 690% of the number means what? Like you're, it's almost how many times more than the original? Like almost seven times, right? A little bit less than seven times. Does that make sense? You get that? Okay, and some of you say, well, why do we do it this way? Because can we just kind of figure it out, like move the decimal over twice, you know? But that's just your shortcut. Do you know why you're doing this? This is the reason why, okay? This basically becomes an equation when you ask this kind of question. Okay? So watch this question now. Hold on. Example three. We have 48% of 125 is what number? So I guess it's a little bit longer than the other ones, but it's not that bad. Uh, a lot of you know like some other methods of doing it, but really, if you know how to translate the sentences into an equation just like what we've been doing the whole semester, whole year, uh, it's really it becomes a simple equation. Does anybody know how to, let's do this together, okay? So I'm going to translate each of these parts into an equation. What does 48 mean, guys, in math? 48 means 48, okay. There you go. There, I translated it. What about percent? What does percent mean? Class, we just learned, it means 1 over 100. 1 over 100. What does of mean, usually in math, in word problems? What? Multiplication. What does 125 mean? 125. Okay. What does is mean? Equals to what number is your x? Unknown. You can use any other variables you like, but we usually use x. Okay, so now do you see how it becomes a very simple equation? Okay, and again, I know that a lot of you know how to do it a different way, but just do it this way because it just makes it easier. Uh, and when we get something more difficult, right, you just follow the same translating method, it just works. Go ahead and find x. Everybody try. Help your group members as well. Think about it, okay? See what you get. So then this becomes what? What does 48 times 1 over 100 mean? 48 over 100. <laughs> 48 over 100. And times 1 over 1, 125 over 1 equals x. Uh, I circle the 100 and 125 because something goes into 100 and 125. What goes into both? 25, okay. So you can simplify this. Do you think it's a good idea to actually multiply 48 times 125 and then try to divide by 100 and so forth? No, okay. Because everything's multiplication, right? You can cross cancel. Remember cross? She reminds you of multiplication. So you get 60. And of course, you write the answer as a sentence. 48% of, I forgot of, of 125 is 60. Any question? Easy? Yes. You, can you guys do something like this? Now, the yes? Because I'm going to give you a couple more. Question? Yeah, because later when we get war problem, well, how do you want to do it?
Yeah, that's what I have right here. See, that's pretty, I mean, you guys do this automatically, but I'm showing you the reason why we do that. Well, how do you know it's x over 125? Yeah, because you you, you've done these problems before, right? But look, look at the next one. So we're going to kind of mix it around, okay? So when we mix it up, it's not going to be so, that's why I'm showing you. So check, it's not that bad. Try this one then, okay? Like I said, once you know how to translate this into an equation, you don't, have, you don't get confused. Because sometimes when you do that, you don't know what goes on the numerator, what goes on you know, the denominator. So go ahead, try this one. Just translate it. It just works, guys. It's easy, too. Okay. So 9 is 36% of one number. Let's see. Who can, as I said before, you know, you could do all that other way, but it just, it's just so much easier this way, guys. Just believe me. So, yeah, Victor, what do I get when I uh, write as a mm -hmm. equation? I got 9 equals uh -huh. 36 times 1 over 125. Uh -huh. Yeah. You see how easy it is? It's just, you don't have to worry about what goes on the numerator, what comes on the denominator. Okay, uh, so then, of course, this is 36 over 100. Uh, multiply, oh, be, should I multiply both sides by the LCD at this point, or should I always try to simplify it as much as I can? Okay, 36 over 100 becomes what class? How about, oh, sorry, how about Ryan, what do I get? 9 over 25, yeah, what goes into, you know, 4 goes in, right? So, multiply both sides by now, easier fraction, 25 over 9, did you all get 25? Yes, okay, easy. So you should write this as a sentence. Who could tell me how to write this as a sentence? Yes? Uh, exactly. 9 is 36 percent of 25. There you go. Easy enough? By the way, does this make sense? Like, 9 is 36 percent of 25? Yeah, because yeah, it's less than half of 25. Yeah, yeah question? For these, I'll, I'll let you use x. Okay, for these short ones. So that's a good question. You don't have to write down x, let x to be. For these, okay, you could use it. All right, okay, so then try this one now. This one is, oh, I don't want to show you. What percent of, see, as you can see, I'm kind of changing things around a little bit, right? I'm asking for x is now in different places. What percent of 225 is 99? Go ahead, everybody try. This again, once you uh, translate into an equation, it's, very, it's a very straight forward question. Okay, go ahead, try. So here we go. Uh, who should I ask? I would like to ask who have I called today? I want. Yes, uh, Audrey, tell me what to do. How do I translate? As you can see, guys, the x is kind of being moved around, right? It's not the same type of question every time. But it's easy once you translate. Go ahead, what do I get? Oh, hello, Kish. Sorry. Guys, may I have a chance? Okay, go ahead. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There you go. Perfect. Okay, that's what we get. Oh, hold on a second. And we have this equation. Audrey is correct. So, Audrey, what, you, what did you get as your answer? 44. How many of you got 44? All right, good. So, I think I got that too. Yeah, you get 225 over 100. You can simplify that, of course, to 9 fourths. How many people did that? 9 fourths to 9 fourths? I think that's really helpful, isn't it? Always what, guys? Simplify. Simplify if you can. Just make sure it works a lot easier. Of course, multiply both sides by 4 over 9, the reciprocal, then you get 44. And did you go write down as a sentence? Yes. The reason why we did all this work is because you're going to get, well, actually, before I get there, I kind of said it too early. So the reason we did all this is because on your homework, you're going to get some word problems, OK? And your word problems, when you get, you're going to get some equations that would involve some decimals, OK? Uh, so you have to translate them into an equation. But once you do, if you get some decimals like this, is there a nice way to get rid of all these decimals when you have an equation? Just like there was a nice way to get rid of all the fraction denominators, right? What do we do with all the denominators? We multiply both sides by D? No, no, no. If you had some. Uh, equation with denominators, what do we do? We multiply both sides by the LCD, right? Yeah. So for this one, what should we do? Yes? Um, you should convert them all to fraction. You could convert them into all to fraction, and you get the denominator of 10, right? So guess what? Your LCD becomes 10. But once you have it as a decimal, you could actually just multiply both sides by, for this one, 10. Yeah. Why 10? Why not 100 or 1,000 or a million? Why 10 on this one? Anybody? Alvin, raise your hand. What do you think? 
because there's the decimal place only goes up to tens place. What if one of them went up to hundreds place? Like for example, if, if it was 2.87 or something, then you would multiply both sides by 100. And you're right. If you were to change into a, uh, fractions, you know that the def denominator, the LCD, will be 100. Okay, so that's the same idea. So the the reason I'm showing you this is because, like I said today, once you translate things into an equation, you may get some decimals. Okay, so whenever you have some decimals, it's easy to get rid of all the decimals, right? Within the equation, all you have to do is multiply both sides by. For this one, 10. Go ahead, everybody, try see what you get. So, uh, Claire, tell me what to do. When I do this, what do I get? On the left side, it becomes? Uh huh. That's right. So when I do that, I just get simple equations this way, and then, of course, did you all get the like terms? What's our answer? Rachel, what did you get? 12? How many of you got 12? Oh, I got 6. <laughs> Isn't it 6, Rachel? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. There you go. 6. Make sure you get 6. Does that make sense? So as you can see, hmm? Oh yeah, don't forget the x on the right side, it's 7x. So yeah, you get the, the like term and then you get 6, okay? Make sure, so when you have equations with decimals, it's easy to get rid of all the decimals. Question? All right, so this sometimes, it's called set notation. Sometimes you could write x equals 6. Uh, you could just write the answer as with bracket, brace, x, 6 inside. And like, they use that a lot if you have more than one answer. Right, Stephen? Don't do that. All right, so then let's look at next example. We did all this so that we could do something like this, okay? So, word problem. A dealer, write this down. A dealer pays 5500 for a car and wants to make a profit of 15%. What should be the selling price? Are they asking for the just a, pri a profit? No, what are they asking? Selling the selling price. price. Okay, so I'll write this down. Think about how you would go about doing this and think about what your unknown is, okay? So go ahead, everybody write it down. A dealer pays 5500 for a car, wants to make a profit of 15%. Okay. What's the selling price? All right, so now that you have some time to think about it, and have time to write. Does anybody, there are many ways to do this actually, but uh, let me do it in a way that's I think pretty simplest, okay? So what is going to be my unknown? Right now it looks like there are two unknowns, right? What, what are the unknowns, anybody? Can somebody t tell me what the unknowns are? Gianni, what are our, our unknowns here? What the what? What the selling price should be. And there's another unknown. Does anybody know what, the, yes? The profit. Uh, if I know the profit, could we figure out the selling price? How? Some of you are nodding your head. How can we figure out, if I know the profit, let's say the 15% profit, we will be able to find out. Like, let's say that we were able to figure this out. Victor, what would you do? I would add the profit on top of the uh, amount that's paid. That's right. So that's what you have to do. By the way, can you just sell this car for the profit that you got? No, okay? Then you're going to get fired really fast, okay? So because you, you bought this car for 5500 right? Whatever the profit you made, you have to add this to it. So why not then let X to be the profit? Because if I know the profit, I could figure out the selling price as well. Isn't that right? All you have to do is add that profit to 5500 Does that make sense? Okay, so then how do we figure out the profit? Anybody? How, what kind of profit do you want to make here? Um, Chemin? Yeah, 15% of what? 15% of 5,000. Yeah, so isn't, isn't this what we're asking? The profit is 15% of 5,500. Right, guys? Do we know how to write this as an equation? What's the profit? X. What does is mean? Equals to 15% is 15 times. 100 times, yeah, right, because the profit is 15% of, right, oh, yeah. 5,500. Okay, go ahead, everybody figure out what my profit is. Okay, go ahead, give you time. Okay, so I think a lot of you guys already have the answer. By the way, look, I'm doing this in two stages, right? Here's stage one, right? Stage one, one. 
Okay, this first stage tells me the x, which is going to be how many people got the right answer? How about, okay, raise your hand if you got the right answer for profit already. Good. Uh, who could tell me? Um, who haven't I called? I haven't called. Leah, what'd you get? What's, what is the profit from this? Just the profit will be? All right, you did it as 115%, right? Which is totally fine. Okay, so, okay, so did anybody do it this way where you just got the profit? Yeah, uh, uh, Ryan? Uh, yeah. 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 So what did you get when you, what is that? Yeah. Oh, the profit or the? The profit, X. 825, right? So that's my stage one. Why do I say stage one? Because? Uh, is this my answer? No. Do you want to sell this car for 825? <laughs> no, then you're going to get fired big time, okay? Because what do we have to do with this? Because a lot of you actually did a little bit differently. Some of you use 115%, which is perfectly fine. Some of you actually wrote the equation as x plus 5,500 and so forth. Uh, so what is this? Then what do we do? What stage two will be what? We have to play? Is that? Yeah. You have to add it to the I have to add it to the you gotta add the profit plus the cost, right? The answer class is what? 6,325. So if you, if you wanna make 15% profit, you must sell the car for $6,325. Is that right? Okay. How many of you guys, 6,325? Some of you did it a little bit slightly different, that's fine. Any question? Please, on the test, do not write down 825. Okay, then you're gonna get it wrong. Okay. Well, this is a problem. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> okay, any question? All right, try this one then. This will be the last one. Doris received a rebate of $5 on her toaster. Wait, her name's Doris? Yeah, why? Why not? Okay, this represents 20% of the cost. How much did the toaster cost? What's rebate? Rebate is like they give you the money back. Like, you know, you send in some rebate. You haven't had, no? Okay, so when you buy something, they give you some money back. Why? Uh, because they want you to buy it and so that you forget to send the, <coughs> send in the rebate. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so when you buy something, you haven't had rebates and stuff like that? When you buy computers, don't they, they give you like $100 rebate. Some of them. It, 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 it kind of makes you to buy it, but then they're kind of banking on you forgetting it. Anyway, go ahead, try this. Uh, see what you get. Oh, okay, you're done? Okay, <laughs> some of you are already done. That's fine. So see if you can do this yourself. Okay, so do you guys understand what the question is saying? Listen, yeah. if you buy this toaster, how much, whatever it costs, how much it is, you get $5 back, which is kind of nice. From the manufacturer, they give you, I guess, $5 back. So you, what they're asking is, what does that $5 represent? 20% 20. 20 of the? Total. The, the, to the original cost of the toaster that you initially have to pay. So what's our unknown here, guys? Yeah, the cost of the toaster. What's my equation then? Raise your hand if you think you know. If the x is the cost of the toaster, which is what we're looking for. Eric, what is the equation? Okay, shh, guys, come on. When we talk, come on, we gotta, okay, say it again. Yeah, 20% of x is five dollars, isn't that right? Well, what, so it's 20 percent, isn't that what we're asking? Isn't this what they're asking for? 20 percent of x, the, toast, the cost of the toaster is five dollars. Okay, so 20 percent is 20 over 100 times x is five. <coughs> what's the equation? Uh, well, I mean, what's the answer, um, Melissa? Oh, did you get this equation so far? No. No? Do you understand what we're saying here though? What were you saying? What does five dollar represent? That's Shh. which is how much of the original price? Yeah, so twenty percent of the x is five dollars, right? There's your equation. Twenty percent of x equals to five, right? So then, what do we do? Yeah, you can multiply both sides by hundred and then divide it by two. Yes. 1 over 5. 
Guess what? We just have to multiply both sides by? The answer cost? $25. Does that make sense? Okay, so that means, class, what's 20% of $25? $5. $5. Does that make sense? So, I, so by doing it this way, guys, we could figure out the original price, can we not? Yes. Good. 